you had um, an uncle that was a big influence when you were a child, Harold Leventhal, correct? Yes, yes. Um, he was my father's brother, younger brother. Um, he was one of the biggest um, folk music managers and pr promoters in the industry. Uh, he did it for 50 years, a little over 50 years, I think, before he passed away. Um, managed Pete Seeger, Arlo Guthrie, Woody Guthrie, Judy Collins. Brought people over from other countries, Nana Mascuri, um, and uh, worked with some of the, not necessarily managed them, but he also worked with Peter, Paul, and Mary, and, and a bunch of others. Gave Bob Dylan his first big concert break in New York in 1963. Right, there is a picture that you have that is that he promotes a concert with Bob Dylan, right? Right, yeah, it was a, he put on a concert with Bob Dylan in 1963, and I think the uh, top ticket price was $3. <laughs> yeah, so I, I grew up, I, uh, every year Pete Seeger and Arlo Guthrie would do concerts at uh, Carnegie Hall in, in New York City, and every year I'd go. He was a big influence in you going into the music music industry? I, th I think so. Yeah, I mean, it just, I just was, um, you know, music was such a big part, of, and, and my brother too, my brother was, played guitar and piano, uh -huh. um, and, and wrote music, so we just kind of, and I have another uncle that um, he was in the business, uh, he worked for uh, Irving Berlin. Uh -huh. I think my Uncle Harold did too at one point. Wow. Um, so he was a songwriter. Oh, wow. I th or a publisher, song publisher, I think. He didn't actually sing, but he wrote the songs for, for other singers. <clears throat> no, I, think, I don't think he wrote, see, I, I'm not 100% sure, right. but, but he had something to do with uh, publishing and, and uh, such. You, um, you mentioned that there is a movie that was made uh, on your uncle's story, right? What is the name of yeah, the movie? Yeah, the movie's A Mighty Wind. Um, and it was interesting because I'm watching the movie. God, this, you know, it's very familiar to what my uncle's life was like. Or It was about a reunion of a, a folk music group. Uh -huh. And my uncle uh, had a big reunion concert with the Weavers. Um, back then, uh, you know, they were blacklisted, um, considered communists. And, and uh, so he put together this reunion show, which, you know, a lot of people didn't think it was going to work, but it was a, it, it did. It was great. And I'm watching Mighty Wind, and I'm going, God, this really sounds familiar. <laughs> and I happen to look it up on Wikipedia, and sure enough, in several places I looked, I noticed that uh, my uncle was the inspiration. He never told you? No. <clears throat> no, never told me. And I never knew that. But like I said, it all looked too familiar to me, and I looked right. it up. And uh, several sources said that he was the inspiration. You mentioned that your uncle was blacklisted in those years, right? Yes, yeah. Because uh, maybe the theme, or because the whole theme of, of the music was, uh, you it know, was all protest. And, protest, you know, exactly. Yeah, it just wasn't what, what back then, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't, do, <laughs> you couldn't do those kinds of things, you know. Yeah. So uh, he was blacklisted along with others um, back then in the McCarthy era.